Monday morning began much as Sunday morning began in Juba. Fighting began in Jebel, southwest of the city. There's also been fighting in Gudel, to the east of the city, and a motor rounds had in the downtown area. The latest bout of violence came out after UN Security Council emergency meeting said South Sudan's neighbors should also help end the fighting and be prepared to send additional troops to bolster the UN mission in the country. The members of the Security Council argue an immediate end to the fighting by all concerned and demanded that President Salva Kiir and the first Vice President Riek Macha do their utmost to control the respective forces, urgently ending the fighting and preventing the spread of violence, expressing shock and outrage at attacks on the UN compounds which killed and wounded Chinese and Rwandan peacekeepers. The council also demanded that civilian sites be protected and warned that attacks against civilians and UN premises and personnel may constitute war crimes. It's understood the delegates expressed deep concerns about the recent upsurge of violence in Juba and discussed ways to make the worth of the 14,000 peacekeepers easier and safer. Also discussed during the meeting was the impact on civilians, a large number of who are reportedly sheltering in the UN facilities. More than 1,000 people fled to a UN compound in Juba as heavy fighting broke out and two UNAMI sites in the capital were hit by small and heavy arms fire, the UN said in 